Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is a Java video. So today we're going to talk about Log4j2. There is some performance improvements in Log4j2. And I also have a very simple POC I want to share with you guys. And we can compare some of the performance improvements with uh, Log4j2. Okay, so let's get started. So, um... Log4j2 uh, has some performance improvements, as you can see on the standard uh, logging uh, site in Apache. And um, basically, if we go over the specific improvements, uh, they're all about async logging performance, right? And here we can see there's a huge difference of, um, you know, async um async appender and sync all right and we can see um uh, the the numbers right like the peak throughput and we can see the throughput for async is much higher uh and you start to kind of to see biggest difference as you have more threads as you have fewer threads um you won't realize that and i did a benchmark myself as well with uh, one thread pretty much and uh I also realize no much difference, but according to Apache, as you have more threads, your throughput startup are gonna increase. Uh, and that makes sense because as you have more threads, you need to have synchronization, right? And one thing that um, Log4j2 did here is they replace uh, internal queues with um, uh, LMAX disruptor, right? Instead of uh, standard queues, and that's one of the secret sauce. Um, and, um, you know, it, it makes a huge difference. So basically, you need to have one extra jar in your closed path. Uh, if you doesn't have it, it's still going to work, but you won't see uh, as good performance as such, right? And um, here we can see some effects on the garbage collector as well, right? As you, you see the latency spike after some point, and uh, we can see P99% EO, so... If it doesn't have scale, right, you might not even bother with this, but as you have scale, uh, you know, that's something that may be uh, a good idea for you. Uh, one, one other thing I really need to say before uh, we start with the POC and everything is that, you know, uh, logs are great, but um, you sort of need to have, like, a plan, right, because there's different ways we can do observability, like you can have logs, you can have metrics, you can have dashboards, you can have alerts, and you can have self-healing systems. In my point of view, self-healing systems are the best because they kind of are self-managed and, um, you know, that's the ideal thing to do. But if you cannot do that, um, probably want to have alerts, right? But the issue with alerts and dashboards is like they are sort of a reactive instead of a proactive. And then you need to watch for false positives, right? And then uh, if you go one level down, you have logs and metrics, right? So logs definitely they are most common primitive together with testing. But um, you also need to keep in mind that, you know, uh, depending how you log, it could be a performance issue, right? And uh, it, it doesn't matter, like, you don't have volume. Um, if you turn on debug and you log too much, even with low volume, you can have trouble, right? So, um, you know, some, some scenarios definitely you want to have metrics uh, and you want to have that transparently. But, you know, um, logs for me, they're more of like for troubleshooting, um, and you sort of need to enable a specific log level, like uh, debug, for instance, because you want to troubleshoot something, right? Um, you don't necessarily want to operate that way always, but anyway. So let's take a look on the code, how we configure, and take a look on the PLC. So here I'm opening my idea, and while idea open, okay, so the first thing we're going to take a look here is the dependencies, right? So I'm using Maven. So basically, there's a couple things we need to take a look here. Okay, so in order to do use log4j2, you need at least two jars, right? You're going to need to have log4j2 core, um, and uh, you will need log4j API, right? So the API is the, is the interface, is the contract in SOA terms, and the core is actually the implementation. And that's it. You only need two jars, right? Um, however, if you if you want to get the sweetness of performance, you want to have LMAX disruptor in your class path, right? And and then log4j async logger is going to behave differently. So 
that's what I got. So if we look uh, for the external dependencies, all right, so here's our core, here's the API, all right, and um, we don't see like tons of uh, other dependencies, all right, and that's good. Uh, and here we have LMAX. So um, it's not that bad, actually, for, for this, these three jars, right? It's quite good, actually. Um, now let's look how we configure log for j 2 One thing I don't like it much, like the patterns, they change a bit, right? So, uh, they're slightly different than log for j one But here, the trick here is to uh, do not include location and do not add TVT because these things, they impact the performance pretty badly. Um, but you know you, you can turn but um if you cannot turn it is is better for performance wise and uh here we're gonna have a handle access file right so i'm, I'm setting this file to be on my tiger directory and then i'm gonna have async.log there and i don't want immediate flush for obvious reasons again turning them from performance and here's the pattern we're gonna use um and I also have another one, which is um, console, right? So in the benchmark, we're going to do three flavors. We're going to do sysout, which is definitely the worst way possible ever. You should do not, should not do that. Don't do sysout. Um, and then we're going to see two flavors. We're going to sync, sync logging, which are going to use this um, one. And we're going to have async one, which is going to be using this one. And here we have like the loggers um related to the appenders right so root by default is going to be async and there's a specific log called um console that refers to the console appender which is this guy here which is the sync one right and that's what we got so now let's look the application is uh, fairly simple so basically here um i have a main class and um i'm getting like three uh, I have two, two instances of loggers, so right um, here I'm just doing an async logger, uh, keep in mind it's just the name of the logger, if you look the signature of uh, async in sync, the, the logger, the way that you handle it's exactly the same, um, so here this is like, um, uh, because I'm just passing my main class, this is going to default to the default logger, this is my async one, and this one I'm getting a logger, I'm passing a name, all right? so I'm spe specifically asking for the console log, and that means this, this will be a sync one. So this is a sync and this is sync. And here I have a list that are gonna be buffering the totals because uh, the benchmark gonna print, gonna log everything, right? Um, and I just at the end, I wanna show uh, just the totals, right? So I have um, one method here that benchmarks the sysouts, this one benchmarks the sync ones, and this one benchmarks the sync ones, right? And here we uh, loop. So the sysout one, um, I'm just getting the current time in, in milliseconds. Um, and then one million times I'm logging uh, i is an i value, right? So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on, on to a million. And then I get the time and I print how long it took. And then I do exactly the same thing for sync and async. But the difference is for sync, as you can see here, I use the sync logger instead of sysout, uh, and async is exactly the same deal, but I use the async one, all right, and, and that's it. So let's run here. Uh, here is just one thread. Um, you should see better with more threads. Um, so let's wait to finish. Okay, it's done. So here we can say, we can see the logs, or you can see that um, it's logging properly. Uh, I need to scroll faster because it's, 3 million logs, we won't see everything here. But here is what matters, right? We see the total. So doing sysout, um, this is done with uh, one second and 235 milliseconds. Uh, console uh, sync logging is doing uh, worse than sysout, funny enough, right? So it's almost two seconds, is one second dot 894. And async logging with a disruptor LMAX, is doing sub second, right? So less than one second is doing um, 0 0.796 milliseconds. So it's it's quite good. Um, so that's what I got for today. I hope you guys uh, like it. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.